Through this video I will show you how can you use an icon component from Angular Material and also where can you find all of those material icons. Also, did you know that only around 8% of you who are watching my videos are actually subscribed to my channel? So, if you are not subscribed, please make sure to subscribe as I am posting new content weekly. Now, let's start with this tutorial. You see, icon component from Angular Material was already used in buttons component in this series. So if you wish to watch that video as well, you will have a link to that video down in the description of this one. But as with all Angular Material components, I will create a specific component for this as well. So here I will use command of ng, g for generate, c for component, and I will generate my component in components, slash icon. Once my component is generated, I can use it in my app.component.html file. First of all, I will hide this grid list component from the last video. If you wish to watch that one, you will have a link also down in the description of this one. Now I will set the comment of icon and I will use here app icon component that we just generated. I will also set the ending comment, which is end of icon. And that's pretty much it. You see, icons from Angular Material are quite easy to use. So for that, I will just open my icon.component.html file. And here I will create, first of all, a div. Uh, I will use this div just to center my icons in the center of a screen. So here I will set the style attribute, which will hold the width. Width will be 500 pixel. Then I will also set the text align to be center and also margin can be, for example, 50 pixels top and bottom and auto for left and right. Inside of my div, I will use my icon. To use an icon from material, I can use mat icon element. And inside of this mat icon element, whatever we passed, well, if the icon exists for that value that we passed, then the icon will show up. So, for example, if I use a home value here, we should see a home icon on our screen. And that is exactly what we are seeing here. So that is pretty much it. I already told you that it's quite easy to use icons from material. Now, if you wish to check all material icons, you will have to go to fonts.google.com website. And you will have this specific uh, link down in the description of this video. So you can just click on it and visit all of these icons that Google has for material. You can see here the endless list of icons and this is just for outlined icons. I could select field icons and I will essentially get the different icons. Rounded one, sharp ones and with two tones as well. Next to that, if I would select one of these uh, icons, for example, these settings icons, well, well, this settings icon on the right side, I will have a customization of that icon. So here I could set the different color for it, the density, size of it, and I could see how these icons should be used through different technologies for Android and iOS. And also down here we can see how can we use it directly in our HTML, uh, through material, and also how can we use a code directly from an icon to render that icon on our screen. So you can see that Google thought about everything here. So just visit this website and search around a bit. Maybe it will be interesting to you. But this is pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions, make sure to comment those down below and I will surely answer you. Also, did you know that only around 8% of you who are watching my videos are actually subscribed to my YouTube channel? So please, if you are not subscribed, subscribe to my YouTube channel as I am posting new tutorials weekly. And this will be pretty much it. Thank you once again and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.